Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and I am so excited to be working on some movement-based paper circuits. So this one is gonna make a little pinwheel. To make it light up, you're gonna need our printout. That's at patreon.com slash rosie research. You'll need some conductive tape, so copper tape. You'll need non-conductive tape, a paper-based or plastic-based tape. Scotch tape or masking tape are great for that. You'll need two LEDs and a battery. That's a CR2032 battery that we use and some scissors. And then in addition to this, you're also gonna need some like a push pin and a straw that we can put this into at the very end. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to put some copper tape or conductive tape down along this bright yellow line right here. All right, it's really important that we do the bright yellow line first because we actually have a little trick up our sleeve as we cross our copper tape and we want to make sure our circuits are happy. So you're going to peel it, get it started, and then once it's started, you're going to stick it straight to the paper instead of peeling that copper tape all the way. I'm going to come all the way up here. We're going to end up cutting on this green, so I don't want to put it over the green line. I want to sort of go right along the green line, nice and close. All right. And I'm going to keep going. It goes straight right through here. This is where we're gonna make contact with our battery. And we are going to now come a little bit over to the side. And the way I can do that is I can bend it the opposite direction that I wanna go. So I wanna go sort of down and to the left. I'm gonna go up and to the right. And then I can pull it back and it bends it for me without ripping it. Bending without ripping it is really, really important. We do not want to rip our copper tape lines. If we do, we need to start over. Otherwise, the highways that we make for these electrons won't be laid down very well and we'll find out that we have a whole lot of problems with getting our circuits to work. All right, so at the very end, you can just rip it with your finger. So I have one piece here. I'm going to flatten this out using my thumbnail. And now we need to add a piece of scotch tape or masking tape, any sort of non-conducting tape, to a very specific area. And that is where we're going to have the long leg cross. So if we don't do this, we'll sort of cross the long and the short legs and we'll end up with a short circuit. The electrons will find a way where they can go through the circuit without going through the LEDs and they will always choose that way. So I'm just going to lay down a little piece of tape right here so that we can have that bridge that crosses over without having to worry about it actually connecting because the electrons can't get through that paper. Let me get another piece of copper tape and now I'm ready to lay down this dark line and as I lay it down a couple things I want to make sure I'm going to make sure that it doesn't touch this line I've already done so you'll notice that these lines are parallel and there is a little tiny white gap we want to keep that little tiny white gap that's really important it will help our electrons stay separated and force them on the highway that goes through those LEDs all right so we're gonna go right next to the one we laid down not on top of and not touching all right, so I got it really close and we will bring this on down. And now when I cross over here, not only do I not wanna rip it, I wanna make sure I cross on top of that tape I put down. So if you're using clear scotch tape, make sure you know where that scotch tape is and you are crossing over on top of that. So right here, crossing over on top of this and now I can bend it again. Now we're sort of going around this battery like this and I'm going to come in close so I can get those LEDs in on. I'm going to pull it back a little bit. I'll bend it again. If it rips, you're going to want to start over and we're going to make sure that these guys don't touch. Now, if it's really close and you think they're just barely touching and you don't want to redo everything, what you can do is you can just scrape it to the side with your nail and sort of open up a little spot for that. All right, so we have this piece down. I'm gonna, again, flatten it out just to make it look a little bit nicer with my thumbnail. All right, so we have our copper tape down and what we can do now is we can cut this out along the green lines. So it's gonna be a square and then there's gonna be these four green lines that are also gonna make the pin wheel part. The wheels to our pins maybe, or the pins to our wheels. I'm not sure which one, to be honest. <laughs> it's okay if you cut little bits of copper tape off right there. 
So that will not affect your circuit. As long as you don't cut through the copper tape, like right through here, you will be just fine. And the beauty of this is if you want to, you can decorate and color both sides of this. So part of this stuff will be seen and part of this will be seen. So you're welcome to pause the video and do a bunch of art and make this really uniquely yours. I'm gonna cut along the green lines, I'm not gonna cut that copper tape. And you'll notice that the green lines don't cut all the way into the middle, they have sort of a stop point. So you wanna stop where that green line stops at. All right, beautiful. So I have my square cut out and I have these little green tabs going on. Now we are going to tape our LEDs in. And before we do that, we want to choose the color of our LEDs and make sure that they're going to work with our project. So maybe I decide I want white or sometimes these end up rainbow. That looks like it'll be a rainbow one. Oops. You're going to put the long leg on top and the short leg on the bottom to test it. That one's white. Maybe if I could find two rainbows, that would be great. But it doesn't really matter. What you do, as long as you just double check that your LEDs are working. Oh, that one doesn't work. We'll put that one all the way to the side because sometimes you will find out you have an LED that doesn't work anymore and that can be really frustrating if you put a nine working LED into a project. Oh, this is fun. I have a fast blink LED and a slower blinking LED, which I love. That'll give my project a whole lot of movement. My battery can light them both up and both LEDs are working, so that gives me a lot of information later about my circuit if there happens to be a problem. And it might look on the screen like this is sort of flashing in and out, and that's because it's it's a blinky LED, so it's actually meant to do that. Um, so I'm not worried about that blinking. All right, so we are gonna put it so that our short legs are on where this black line was, and also the piece that goes sort of more straight. All right, so this one just has like one little bend. This one has a big bend. That one goes for our long legs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your long leg and put it on here on this one that sort of bends. Oops, that one's flipped. We're gonna have our short leg on this one that's straight that goes straight to the bottom of the battery and our long leg here that goes all bent and wobbly. You can actually tape both legs in with one piece of tape here. Just wanna make sure that sort of the long leg is not touching the short leg wire and vice versa. So let's tape these guys in, just like that. Hold it here, press down. The nice thing about even the masking tape is you can still see through it and you can still see that the legs are touching where they need to touch and not touching where they don't need to touch. And I can just cut off this extra right here. That's not a problem like that. All right, beautiful. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but it is going to be flipped. So my short leg is still going to go to this one in the bottom. So you'll notice the short legs are going to be all on the same wire and the long legs are going to be all on the same wire. I'm going to kind of open up those legs a little bit so they can make a little bit better contact a little bit more easily. And then I will take a piece of tape and I will tape it on in. All right. The short leg here is going to again go straight into that circle. That's how you can always check which one goes where. And I'm going to hold that little piece around, tape it on in like that. Cut off some excess tape. All right, so now we really need to put our battery in. The battery goes right in here in the middle on this little gray circle so that you can see the etching or the sort of the plus sign and all the text that you have. We're going to tape it really gently around the edges of it and that will allow it to um, still make contact with where we need it to make contact. All right, so I can put this guy like right down here. It's fine that I'm covering up the short leg piece of wire because that piece is already touching the bottom. The battery is straight on top of that piece. Now our switch here is actually just going to be a piece of plain copper tape and we're going to attach it to the long leg piece and onto the top of the battery. Now, if you want it to be more of a switch, you could attach it maybe over here and you can see how it becomes a switch like that. If you want it to be 
maybe more easily on, maybe you tape it right here because it kind of just puts it straight on and off just like that. I like having a bit of more of a switch, so I'm going to do it here. And so I'm going to tape it so that it's copper tape to copper tape. So you see the side here is the copper tape. I haven't peeled it. I'm going to tape it to that long leg piece, which is the one that had the really big bend. And if I just tape it down right on top, all I got to do here is just press right there to make it work. All right, so let's say I want it on for a little while. I can just tape this piece on right here. Makes it nice and easy for me. And then when I want to take it off, I'll just take that off. And now we just need to connect the stars on to this center piece. And as we connect those stars, you'll see the pinwheel sort of starts to take shape. All right, and we can tape these stars down. You could tape them one at a time. You could tape them all at a time. But you can see that once you tape the stars sort of right on top of that battery, you are getting that pinwheel shape that we like. So let's go on in with a little piece of tape. Doesn't need to be a lots of tape for each piece. And I'm just gonna tape these guys on just a little tiny piece of tape. All right. Make sure that you have the piece with the star that you're taping in. And you can see how your art would really come to life if you pre-decorated all of the white space in this square. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so here is my pinwheel. If you wanted to keep this always on, you could sort of glue a little something right here. And then what you would do is back here, you'll glue a little pin, a push pin of any sort, attach it to a little straw, and you've got your beautiful LED pinwheel all ready to go, which is pretty amazing. A lot of fun, it can make some movement on a windy day for you. Um, if you're noticing you're having trouble, Let's see, we can always troubleshoot it by figuring out what things are touching. I'm actually noticing my switch is touching the short leg piece right there and that makes it go out, which is not quite what we want. I'm also noticing that as this guy flashes, it flashes this one a little bit, but that's totally fine. Sort of a price we pay for having those beautiful rainbow pieces that we love so much. Thank you so much for joining us as we made this LED pinwheel and we hope that you will join us for some other fun paper circuits. We'll see you soon friends, bye.